So in today's video, this will be a bookstore roleplay. So what I will do first is go over your list of books that you're interested in. And then I will go and find the books for you. There will be some book stacking and book sorting sounds. And then I will carefully show you each of the books that you've chosen. I will briefly describe each book. And I will also be dusting off each book with a cloth. And after we've gone over each of the books, I will be wrapping the books for you in this crinkly brown paper packaging. So I hope you enjoy. How can I help you? Sure. Can I have a seat? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there a specific author or title you're looking for? They do sell very quickly as well. It's a very popular request. So let me see which titles we have in stock at the moment. Okay, so let's see. It looks like we have two, three, four, five. like right now we have nine titles in stock. If you'd like I could um, read them to you here or I could go ahead and get them and we could take a look at them together if you'd like. Okay, so let's see. We are... Would you like to see all nine titles? All right, this is the first one is that we have. And this one is, okay. Okay. And we have two copies of this one. Sit here and wait for me, 
Um, and I'll go grab them or you could come along if you'd like. Alright, I'll go and get them and I'll be right back. Would you like for me to show you each one in any specific order? Okay. Alright, how about if we just start at the top of the pile? Position in the list my publisher sent me. 
and it actually created a very nice balance between the literary stories and the all-out screamers. I also added an explanatory note before or after each story, depending on which seemed the more fitting position. Next collection, selected by Taro. Okay. Would you like for me to read the titles of each story? Okay. So this book includes an introduction, practicing the almost lost art. The first story is titled Autopsy, Room 4. The second title is The Man in the Black Suit. The third title is All That You Love Will Be Carried Away. The fourth story is The Death of Jack Hamilton. The let's see, one, two, three, four. fifth title is In the Death Room. Title number six, The Little Sisters of El Yoria. Title number seven, Everything's Eventual. The next title, LT's Theory of Pets. The next title is The Road Virus Heads North. The next title is Lunch at the Gotham Cafe. Next we have That Feeling You Can Only Say What It Is in French. And the next title is 1408. The next title, Riding the Bullet. And the final title, Lucky Quarter. Okay. Let's see, though, the book is in used condition, however, it's in pretty good condition. Just a little discolored, but there aren't any tears or missing pages. Okay. Yes, I also love um, short stories. So, let's see, it looks as though the length of each story is about 30 or so pages per story. Okay. Yes, so I'll put this one to the side for you. Okay. So, our next title here. This one is um, a little beaten up, you see, but it seems to be mostly just the cover that is a little beat up. Um, do you have any preference for the condition of the books? No, it's fine like this, okay, as long as there's no missing pages. Yes, these stories themselves seem to be in good condition. Just a little worn on the cover. So, Just After Sunset, 
And this is another collection of short stories. Gingerbread Girl. Next we have Harvey's Dream. Coming down to Rest Stop. Next title is Stationary Bike. And the next title is The Things They Left Behind. Next is Graduation Afternoon. The next title is simply N, the letter N. Then we have The Cat from Hell. The next title is The New York Times at Special Bargain Rates. Then we have Mute. The next title is Ayana, and the last title is A Very Tight Place, and it looks as though the last is called Sunset Notes, so that might be just some notes from Stephen King himself. Oh, it's uh, part of the collection of stories. It's a little torn up here in the corners, some of the pages. I happen to enjoy that myself. And they're a little more beaten up. Okay, yes, the length of the stories in this one. They also seem to be around um, let's see, some of them are longer than others. Some are only twenty or so pages and some this one looks to be almost eighty pages. Let's see, thirty, yeah, fifty pages. This one's only ten pages, so there's uh, differing lengths of each story here. Alright, I'll put this one to the side for you. Okay, so let's see. This is another one here. This is a full novel. Insomnia. So it's one of my favorites. It's a long story here, but um, I can recommend this one. You will not likely want to put the book down. At least uh, that was my experience with this. old and damaged. But 
Yes, I believe it's been checked already. For any damages that would affect your reading of the screen, I believe it's in good enough condition for that. This one would be a very discounted price. a lot of sleep. Ralph does. At first he starts waking up earlier and earlier. Then the hallucinations start. The colors, shapes, and strange auras. Not to mention the bald doctors who always turn up at the scene of a death. That's when Ralph begins to lose a lot more sleep. When he begins to understand why his hitherto mild-mannered friend, Ed, is getting out of control, dangerously so, and why his hometown is about to become the new Armageddon. An evil of unimaginable proportions has found a way in, and Ralph has, has only one chance to beat it. The stakes are high. They always are, when you're playing for human souls, with a joker in the pack, a bald one with a rusty scalpel. Yes. Alright. Add that one to the list. This one appears to be in much better condition. Okay, this one is called Revival. It's a hard cover. Okay, let's see. Yes, I do not see any kind of um, damages to this one here. This one. Good. Again, this one is another full novel. And this one is a bit shorter, about 400 pages around that. Um, on the back, here we see, okay, so let me just read the back for you here. It says, in one way, at least, our lives 
her, our lives really are like movies. The main cast consists of your family and friends. The supporting cast is made up of neighbors, co-workers, teachers, and daily acquaintances. There are also bit players. The supermarket checkout girl with the pretty smile, the friendly bartender at the local watering hole, the guys you work out with at the gym three days a week, and there are thousands of extras. Those people who flow through every life like water through a sieve. Seen once and never again. The teenager browsing graphic novels at the bookstore. The one you had to slip past, murmuring, excuse me, in order to get to the magazines. The woman in the next lane at the stoplight, taking a moment to freshen her lipstick. The vendor who sold you a bag of peanuts at a baseball game. But sometimes a person who fits none of these categories comes into your life. This is the Joker who pops out of the deck at odd intervals over the years, often during a moment of crisis. In the movies, this sort of character is known as the fifth business. Okay. Notice this one will be a bit more in price, but definitely a good bargain from buying it new, I would say. And the cadet condition is just like new, really. This one looks great. Okay. I will put this one to the side. Okay, we've got a few more here. Let's have a look at this one. Another paper bag. Novel here. This is The Eyes of the Dragon. This one is in excellent condition. by David Palladini. So, okay. This one will be another very good bargain since it is in such actual excellent condition. So, this one is 300 to 400 pages. storyteller Stephen King has ever written. A captivating fantasy of dark magic and the struggle for absolute power that utterly transforms the destinies of two brothers born into royalty. Through this enthralling masterpiece of mythical adventure, intrigue, and terror, Readers will thrill to this unforgettable narrative filled with relentless, wicked enchantment and the most terrible of secrets. Okay. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution says this story is compelling. 
King's most powerful storytelling. The Washington Post Book World says, The Sorcery of Stephen King, Expertly Seductive. It is just not possible to stop turning the pages. And lastly, the Chicago Sun-Times says this story is memorable, suspenseful, and brimming with action. Alright. Add this one to the list. Alright. I think all the rest are novels. Now this is an older book, but seems to also be in great condition. This is a hardcover. Okay, this one is a full novel, and it's a shorter read. It is a little over 200 pages. of nicely. This is the girl who loved Tom Gordon. when she was nine years old. At ten o'clock on a morning in early June, she was sitting in the back seat of her mother's Dodge Caravan. Wearing her blue-red socks batting practice jersey, the one with 36 Gordon on the back, and playing with Mona, her doll. At 10.30, she was lost in the woods. By 11, she was trying not to be terrified trying not to let herself think. This is serious. This is very serious. Trying not to think that sometimes when people get lost in the woods, they got seriously hurt. Sometimes they died. Okay. I haven't read this one myself. But... one looks like a good one. At least I think so. Very good condition here. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll get this one for you as well. doesn't seem that 
the pages of the story are affected. Looks to be mostly the cover. is a full novel. Pages inside are just slightly used here. There's a reason cell rhymes with hell. On October 1st, God is in his heaven. The stock market stands at 10,140. Most of the planes are on time, and Clayton Riddle, an artist from Maine, is almost bouncing up Boylston Street in Boston. He's just landed a comic book deal that might finally enable him to support his family by making art instead of teaching it. He's already picked up a small but expensive gift for his long-suffering wife, and he knows just what he'll get for his boy Johnny. Why not a little treat for himself? Clay's feeling good about the future. That changes in a hurry. The cause of the devastation is a phenomenon that will come to be known as the pulse, and the delivery method is a cell phone. Everyone's a cell phone. Clay and the few desperate survivors who join him suddenly find themselves in a pitch-black night of civilization's darkest age, surrounded by chaos, carnage, and a human horde that has been reduced to its basest nature and then begins to evolve. There's really no escaping this nightmare, but for Clay, an arrow points home to Maine, and as he and his fellow refugees make their harrowing journey north, they begin to see crude signs confirming their direction. It's like a little code here. A promise, perhaps, or a threat. There are 193 million cell phones in the United States alone. Who doesn't have one? Stephen King's utterly gripping, gory, and fascinating novel doesn't just ask the question, can you hear me now? It answers it with a vengeance. <laughs> so this story, I'd like to see when this one was written. Maybe the early 2000s, 2006 possibly. That's when the copyright was, so I don't know when it was actually written. So, that's another one for you. And I believe there's just one more. This one is a little different 
Not sure if you'll be too interested in this one. So this one is actually a children's book. And it's written under the um, pseudonym Beryl Evans. Okay. Uh, that is the one of the pseudonyms of Stephen King. And this one is called Charlie the Choo Choo. Very interesting. So it's a, obviously the short read for a child. And there are some sort of eerie illustrations. And the illustrations are based on original artwork by someone named Ned Dameron. Okay. So this one is looks to be in excellent condition. Says copyright 1942. So I'm not sure if that is the illustrations or if this is rewritten, possibly. So you can see the length of the passages on each page. Um, it would either be for a little bit older child to read on their own, or if it is fitting for a parent to read to a younger child. Now, I don't believe that the story is too much of a horror story. I think that the illustrations are just kind of creepy. So, and let's see. Um, See if I can read a little about this one. But I don't believe it really gives you much of a description. But it's a short story, so. would be interesting. Okay, so it does say Simon and Schuster, the publisher, is proud to publish this new edition of Charlie the Choo Choo, a facsimile of the original 1942 printing. Maybe he just rewrote it. Okay. Nice. All right, so are you interested in all of the books or just a select few of them? Okay. Alright, well why don't I wrap these up for you, and you can be on your way. Okay. Alright, so you have a lot of books here, 
and we do like to recycle everything so I am going to just wrap these up in this um, packaging material here and um, we'll probably have to sort of share the packaging between a few different books. And then I will place these either into a box for you to carry since you have so many. I think a bag will not give enough support, okay? Right, so that's one there. from Stephen King available at that time. So, and we can also place you on our list of certain titles and contact you if anything that you were interested in comes into the store. Okay.
the last one. And we do have a sitting area in the back, if you're ever interested in dust coming in. And reading while you're here in the store. Sure, I'll be seeing you back in here. Have a nice day.